If you are a Flutter developer and you wanted to contribute to open source from a long time but did not know where to start from, well, October is that month where we celebrate Hacktoberfest every year. It is kind of like a month long celebration of open source software run by DigitalOcean. Basically, for the entire month, you will find a lot of issues that are tagged as Hacktoberfest and on solving a number of these issues, minimum four and getting your code merged into the concerned codeways, you can get a lot of swags from DigitalOcean. But here's a twist for all you Flutter developers. If you have ever worked with Flutter, you might have used the Flutter Communities Plus plugins and obviously they have a lot of issues that needs to be resolved 100 at the time of making this video. So if you help them close these issues between October 1st and October 31st, you not only get stickers and swags, but also the top contributor gets a dash similar to this one. In this video, I will tell you the rules and the process and what are the things that you need to keep in mind to become a successful contributor and not be a spammy contributor. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. This is Pooja, everyone. Most importantly, do not, I repeat, do not do it for the goodies. Don't just stop at four PRs just because you are doing it for the goodies. I participated in Hacktoberfest for the first time a few years back. I got a t-shirt. Uh, I posted about it to my friends. I wore it to college for a few times, but then I kind of forgot about it and did not even care. But if the t-shirt or the swags are a good enough incentive for you, something that motivates you to contribute to open source today, then it's a good enough goal as well. But please, please, please do not create invalid, crappy, useless PRs just to reach that four PR mark. This is what happened last year and it's just shameful what people can do for a t-shirt. The first step to contributing to Hacktoberfest and the Flutter Plus plugins is to get yourself registered in the Hacktoberfest website. You can either connect with your GitHub or your GitLab account and obviously this means that knowledge of Git is required. And no, Git and GitHub are not the same thing. But if you want to know more about Git, then you can check out the resources down in the description below. Once you've connected with your profile, fill out some information about yourself. And then in third step, you acknowledge that you have read the rules, the values, the standards, and promise that you will not create spam. A lot of you are probably going to tick off that box without actually reading through them. But if you stay till the end of the video, I'm actually going to explain all the rules and standards uh, for you. So by the end of the video, I know that you are completely aware of everything that is required to become a successful contributor to Hacktoberfest and open source. For now, I will skip to the process of contributing to Flutter Plus plugins for Hacktoberfest. So here is the link where you can go and find all the issues related to the Flutter Plus plugins. So you see all the issues that are tagged as Hacktoberfest. Uh, you can start with these, but in the course of the month, if you find an interesting issue, which is not tagged as Hacktoberfest, do not hesitate to resolve it because open source contributions are not just about this month long celebration. It goes even, even beyond. It's very, very important for you to read the contribution.md file that tells you what are the prerequisites about the environment setup, how to run the example and the tests, and even steps on how to check out code, commit or push your changes, and how to create the PR with your final changes. So now the hunt is about finding the right issues for you or issues that are easy for you. Or if you are in a challenging mood, then finding an issue that is challenging for you or just something that you would really, really want to fix right away. Once you find the issue that you're interested in, tag one of the members of the Flutter community, for example, Majir with this handle. This is very important for you to do because we do not want too many people working on the same issue. So to avoid duplicacy and increase the ownership, let the team members know what you're working on. And that's it. Once you're done, create a PR following the contribution guide and wait for a team member to review it. Once your PR is merged, you are on the list of contributors and you will receive uh, swags and stickers from the Flutter community. And the top contributor will receive a dash. <laughs> But only after the month is over, okay? Now let's go back and talk about the rules, values, and standards that we need to follow during Hacktoberfest. This part of the video is very important for you to know because I want to make sure that you're not a spammy contributor and you understand the values and the standards of Hacktoberfest and you do not end up becoming a tweet in this account. First of all, you are welcome even if you are a seasoned open source developer 
or you just want to try things out right now this means you could always provide major bug fixes or major feature changes but also you are welcome to provide value with documentation changes or additions or simple bug fixes you should focus more on the impact of your code rather than the number of prs that you have sent quality over quantity to give you a better example of what is a low quality contribution, these are some of the rules stated by Hacktoberfest and some examples that we have seen people do actually. First of all, do not rip off someone else's code or PR that does not show you in good light. If ever in the future you are showing your GitHub profile to recruiters or future colleagues, they might find out about the invalid or spammy PRs that you had made and that little dip in reputation is going to affect you. And honestly, it's just sad that it was for a t-shirt. But also don't do this. Don't add silly white spaces or replace words with its synonyms. Add useless documentation changes that has no impact to the project. And you're just doing that to increase the count of PRs. You are not helping the maintainers of the project. Instead, you are increasing their work with more PRs to review. That has no significance to the project. Help the community to not be a blocker. Just look at the spam PRs tagged in the HTML repository what is this even and yeah this year all the successful peers need to be labeled as hacktober fest dash accepted by the maintainers so no place for the spammy peers this year but honestly don't do this for the sake of your own reputation please but also other than the flutter community plus plugins if you happen to and i encourage you to contribute to repositories outside of the flutter community make sure you're not contributing to projects that just ask you to add your name or profile information in a list or submit assorted data structures and algorithms or add random quotes and interview questions these projects itself will be banned or labeled as spam by hacktoberfest itself and obviously they do not have any real life value or impact so do not get into that trap and last but not the least, October is just a month to kick off your open source journey, but it is not the only month where you should be contributing to open source. Continue doing them even beyond October. And if you become one of the top contributors for the Flutter Communities Plus plugins, do share about the amazing work that you have contributed towards the projects. I would love to hear about it. So good luck and keep contributing and see you in the next video.